Cherie Buckner Webb was the first African American to serve in the Idaho State Legislature. Her decade long tenure provided a loud and clear voice for equality and human rights, and she's continued to serve tirelessly uh, her community through local nonprofits. Yeah, and for her service, the city of Boise is now honoring her with a downtown park in her name. Our Roland Barris sat down with Buckner Webb to talk about her legacy and the future of her home state. Cherie Buckner Webb was stunned by the announcement that this beautiful downtown park right across from the Boise Cascade building she once worked in would bear her name. I was blown away. I'm so glad you weren't in my neighborhood. I think everybody for two blocks heard me say what? Buckner Webb's family came to Idaho more than a century ago, suffering through this country's long and difficult road to basic civil rights, an effort she learned from her father to be outspoken in defense of. Doing it when you're part of a community, you have a charge to keep, you have a calling you have a responsibility to contribute to your community. The park is just down the road from the Capitol and another park named after a Democratic icon, Cecil Andrus. Buckner Webb says the park epitomizes her efforts over the years to bring people together. It's a big deal to me for us to connect with people we might not in our own little cubicles. I mean, to get to know your neighbor, get to know people different than you. The ample shade, unusual pink tree with swings and green space are designed for relaxation in an era of unprecedented growth. We're turning into a major city. You can stop for a moment, come to the park, even bring your kids after work, just kind of sit around, see your neighbors, say hey, whether you're acquainted or not, but that's the beauty of a park. Buckner Webb says the park is not the end of her legacy, just a continuation of it. She says she has lots more work left to do. Roland Barris, Idaho News 6. Sheree Buckner Webb is a board member for two nonprofits right now, but she says she has no plans to ever return to elected office.